Liebe Zuschauerinnen und Zuschauer. Ladies and gentlemen, we continue our coverage concerning Ukraine. Western governments recognize the ousting of President Yanukovych, although the Ukrainian constitution allows only the dismissal of a president after a 75% majority of parliament votes for this. But such an election never took place. Therefore, Yanukovych's removal from office is unconstitutional and illegal. The West, however, claims that the referendum carried out in Donetsk and Lugansk on the 11th of May is unconstitutional and illegal. In many Western media, the referendum concerning independence is even ridiculed and marked as unprofessional. Accusations such as not enough voting locations, citizens not informed adequately or insufficient voter supervision are spread. One Western newspaper wrote, Eastern Ukraine, chaotic referendum, voters in the East vote concerning separation. The government calls this criminal. In fact, the citizens of eastern Ukraine were faced with difficult conditions for going to voting stations. The voting took place in the face of a large-scale military operation by Ukrainian government mercenaries directed against those supporting referendum and federalization of the Ukraine. Federalization means setting up state governments with extensive self-determination by the individual states. Tanks, airplanes and helicopters were used in the operation against the supporters of federalization. The Russian internet TV station Vesti.ru reported, In the city Novoyardar, in the Lugansk area, fighters from Kiev special units surrounded the voting locations with tanks and destroyed them. Also, the Ukrainian government artillery opened fire on the eastern Ukrainian village of Andreevka near Slavansk and a number of people were killed. As well as this, eyewitnesses reported to KlaTV that a procession of armored vehicles, tanks and troops rolled into Krasnoyarmeysk near Donetsk. In many smaller towns, voting locations were already closed again at noon for fear of attacks. So, should not the military actions of the Ukrainian illegal coup government against its own people rather be labeled criminal instead of their elections? Should not these violent actions be marked as the biggest disruptive factor of free voting? Viktor Yanukovych, still the legal Ukrainian president, appealed to the coup government to remove their mercenaries from the areas surrounding Donetsk, Lugansk and Odessa and others and to stop using terror against the population. In total, and in spite of all the opposition, voter participation in the referendum for independence of eastern Ukraine was in some areas over 80%. In Lugansk, for example, 96.2% voted for an independent republic. Now, the question remains whether this documentation of the will of the people in the eastern Ukraine is going to be recognized. Valued viewers, please have a look into our preceding programs concerning Ukraine. Question the current media reports, find out about counter-voices and form your own opinion. Have a good evening.